So welcome to another JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the third type of loop which is the for loop and this is the more common kind of loop. So what the for loop allows us to do is put everything all in one. So where we've got this while loop here it's going to put it all in one. So I'm going to keep this here and delete it at the end because we're going to be referring to this. You don't need to put this here this is just so I can show you in the video. So what we're going to do is for then brackets and then you're going to put um, curly, break, curly brackets in here what I want to do is just copy that you may need to retype this oh. just copy that and paste it there and we're going to be using this one obviously so in here what we're going to this takes three parameters and the first parameter is uh, counter so basically we're doing counter equals zero so basically we're setting the counter or the timer or whatever you want to call it and then you put a semicolon the second thing we're going to do is put like the range so when is it going to stop so when counter is less than zero so this bit so this bit here is basically doing this up here although we still need to create the variable up here um, this bit here is basically doing uh, this bit right here and this should actually be 10 and then we do a semicolon and then the next bit is this increment so this is stopping us from getting that uh, infinite loop so here we're going to do counter plus plus so we can save that actually let's just delete that first so I'll go over that again uh, this bit here is just setting the counter so we don't actually need this here this bit here is setting the counter, then this bit is setting the range, so when it's less than 10, then this bit is telling it to increment, so that will finish. So now save that, and we can run it in Chrome, and then if we bring it over here, and tools, JavaScript console, something has been repeated 10 times, and it's on line 12, and line 12 is right here. So that is the for loop. This is the most common kind of loop. This is the one I use the most. So it's good to know. So remember which order these go in. That's probably the hardest way thing to learn. But once you've done that, you should be good. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.